Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Simple Colors Ruby Glisten and BP074. I've started off with Neltique's Formula 2 and here is Ruby Glisten. Ah, it's beautiful, beautiful polish. I've already got my base coat on and dry so we're going to go in with that first coat and I'm, I just, I can never say enough about Simple Color polishes. I just hate that they're not being sold everywhere like they used to and because they're just amazing. I'm just I'm just going to leave it at that. They're just amazing. I'm going to be sure to cap my free edge. And I do have a little speck of something on the end of that nail. And it's because I'd filed them back. And you know how you get one of those little like poke out places every once in a while. Hi, Woody. So he was real quick in that one. So here we go with our second coat of Ruby Glisten. And this one is very similar to Ruby Pumps, but it's not the same. It's not a dupe, but it is in that same thread of colors. I love it. Gorgeousness. So I'm going to top it with a Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. I'm going to get it to dry down so that we can, you know, do some playing. And today I'm going to play in the name of my friend, Cat Storm. She loves dragonflies. So I've decided today that I'm going to stamp dragonflies on this beautiful base polish. I'll be using the BP74, bless you cotton, and I've got my AliExpress stamper, my beauty scraper, and Brave Steva polish shut out. I've also got my Burt's B zone today. So here we go, we're just going to, I'm going to put the same image on all of my nails. I just love it. It's a bunch of dragonflies. And I'm so sorry I'm out of frame. Whoops, there we go. Get it right, girl. And then we're going to keep on keeping on. And Cotton's bed surfing, so he's making some huffy puffy noises. There we go. And that nail right there is the reason why I had to shorten all of these. Because I, I had a terrible break and I just wasn't going to fight it. No poly gel, no patch. I just filed it back. There we go, some more cute dragonflies. I really like this one. Kat says that um, butterflies always get all the attention and that dragonflies should get more. So I decided, I just had her voice in my head saying that. So I just had to, had to do this. Here we go. And I'm not happy with this one. This one didn't transfer really well. I think I was in an awkward position. I'm trying to get it up with some tape, but for whatever reason, it's just not wanting to come up today. So I'm going to use some non-acetone nail polish remover. And I can do this because I have a very nice thick coat of um, quick dry top coat down. And I had worn this manicure for a day, so it was really, really dry. So I was able to just wipe that off and do a do-over. But while that one is drying completely, I'm going to, you know, go ahead and do the ring fingernail. I am going to remove some of these dragonflies, and I really probably should have removed all of them except for one. I should have just left one, but I ended up, you know, leaving more than one. But I wanted to let a little bit more of that Ruby Glisten shine through on one of the nails, and I decided this one would be a good one for it. But in all actuality, you can't even tell that I did this. <laughs> it's all good. Maybe a little bit more. So now we're going to go back and do the do-over on my pinky nail. And here we go. Oh, much better, much better. Yay, I'm happy with that. So I'm trying to remove this with the tape, and it would have worked great if my Burt's Bees was still on my finger. But since I used that uh, non-acetone nail polish remover, I must have wiped off my Burt's Bees. <laughs> so we're going to go in with our little cleanup brush and some acetone and just tidy this up over here. Not a really big deal, but, you know, got to do it. So I am liking this new little cleanup brush. Like I said, I'm going to be rotating different ones in and out. So you get to see different ones in action. And this is getting topped off with some of the Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls. 
We're going to seal these little dragonflies in. Such a squishy looking manicure. Love it. Capping my free edge. And there you have it. So that is my manicure for today. I really like this one. I thought it was fun. Hi, Woody. How you doing? He was here for a little bit longer that time. So here's a little bit of it in action. Just kind of some live whatever. And then I have a swatch photo coming up. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this one. And that is it for today. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.